As we saw earlier, we wish to minimize the sum of the negative log weights. Given on hypothesis, the unnormalized association weights are given by these two expressions for misdetection association and detection association, respectively. So given hypothesis H, we define the log likelihood of misdetecting object I and the log likelihood of associating object I to detection J as shown here. So this is just the logarithm of the corresponding unnormalized association weights. So if we consider an example with constant probability of detection, uniform clutter, and linear Gaussian models, then we get the log likelihoods shown here. And here, Z hat is the predicted detection, and S is the innovation covariance. So the goal is to minimize the sum of negative log weights. And this can be rewritten by writing the association cost using these log likelihoods and an assignment matrix A, provided that the assignment matrix A corresponds to the association theta. So what we need now is a cost matrix that allows the cost to be written as the trace of A transpose L, while also facilitating finding assignments that correspond to unique valid associations. We can achieve this by defining the cost matrix as an N by M plus N matrix, where the left submatrix contains the negative likelihoods for the detections, and the right submatrix contains the negative log likelihoods for the misdetections along the diagonal. The off-diagonal elements in the right submatrix are equal to negative logarithm of zero, which is actually undefined, but we set this equal to infinity. So in other words, this corresponds to setting the likelihood to zero. And by doing this, we avoid that the solver returns multiple assignments that correspond to the same valid association. And you should note that if we have a valid association, then the corresponding elements in the assignment matrix A are always zero. With an assignment matrix and a cost matrix, as on the previous slide, the assignment cost can then be expressed as the trace of A transposed L, which is what we want for an assignment problem and any non-unique assignments will have a cost equal to infinity. For an hypothesis, the association weight for the association matrix A and the cost matrix L is the exponential function of the negative trace of A transpose L. So let's take an example with two objects and a single measurement, where we have three possible data associations. The prior densities are Gaussian, the clutter is uniform, and the likelihood is Gaussian. And for this example, we get the cost matrix that is shown here. So we note that the single detection is slightly closer to the mean for the object one than it is to the mean for object two. And this means that associating to object one has a bit higher likelihood than associating to object two. And we can see this in the cost matrix. The corresponding assignment cost is lower than it is for assigning to object two. Earlier, we found the assignment matrices for the three valid data associations when we have two objects and one measurement. And using the cost matrix, we can compute the cost of the three different assignments. And we can see that associating the detection to object one has lowest cost and two misdetections has highest cost. And if we compute the corresponding normalized weights, so the probabilities of the data associations, we see that the weight of associating the detection to object one has highest probability and the probability of two misdetections is lowest. 